Crypto crashes in price as the Evergrande sell-off continues. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee because I want to talk about an article which is highlighting the fact that crypto is crashing in price. Now, before we go through this, I want to jump over here. I'm just going to yep, jump over here to have a look at crypto prices. We can see Bitcoin's at 42,000. Ethereum is at 2,900. Uh, 2, Tether is just under a buck. You know what? I'm going to... Yeah, we'll keep going here. Cardano is at $2.05. Binance Coin is three fifty six. XRP at 90 cents. Solana, even though, you know, back online again after all the issues it's had, it's at 135. We've got USD at $1. Polkadot at $28. And Dogecoin at 20 cents, rounding out the top 10. Binance, USD is at a dollar. Uniswap is at $20. Now, here's the interesting thing. Notice how Bitcoin is going down. Ethereum is going down. Tether's flat, of course, should be. Cardano is going down. Binance down. XRP down. Solana down. Now, if we have a look here, we can see, look at the stock market, everyone. This is the um, uh, what is it? US 30. We can see going down. And here we have another one going down everyone. An Australian index going down. Let's have a look at our commodities. We'll look at gold, silver, they're up. Iron ore, flat. Looks like it's found support there at that $104 level where the markets are closed. Silver and gold, gold up a little bit, silver up a little bit. So what's interesting to see, what what I think we need to pay attention here, is, is the crypto market now running lockstep with the stock exchange? Is it a, it's, it's a, you know, it's a correlated asset now. So $344 billion in crypto price plunge. Why Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, Solana have dropped. A panicked mass sell-off. Well, I'm just looking over here. We're talking 10% in 24 hours, 11% in 24 hours for Bitcoin and Ethereum. Yeah, I mean, that's a crypto moves crazy amounts, guys. That's why it's so exciting. So let's see what Alexis has written here, and I'll just move this over so we can see it. So, cryptocurrency has taken another substantial hit overnight, wiping $344 billion off the market in a single 24-hour after panic buyers sought off their tokens. The top cryptos, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano, Binance as well as the emerging Solana, all fell by as much as 12%. At the peak of the mass sell-off, Bitcoin dipped 9% to $42,669, while Ethereum also plummeted by around 9% to a low of $2,940. This was the lowest both coins have been since early August. And this is crypto. Crypto is a highly volatile sector, everyone. It's just how it is. The two coins now sit slightly higher at 43 dollars and 3000 Yeah, and they've, they've trimmed a bit off since that. Binance dropped more than 10%. Ripple fell by 12%. Even Cardano and Solana, which have mostly remained immune to the price drops, both plunged 10% at the height of the sell-off. Well, Solana took a big shave because their bloody network stopped. The market capitalization of the combined world's cryptocurrencies dropped by $2.62 trillion, more than 10%, according to Forbes. There is one clear and simple reason for the panic sell-off. China. There we go. You can see. Evergrande, China's second largest property developer, is on the brink of collapse and is billions of dollars in debt, which is which its lenders threaten which is le- which with its lenders threatening legal action. Well, it, uh, some are some aren't, some are giving you know, giving them deals. We'll have to keep an eye on it. It owes four hundred and thirteen billion to creditors and has contracts to build as many as one point six million apartments. Its shares have plunged more than 80% this year, with an expert earlier dubbed a death spiral. In the last 24 hours, Evergrande's shares dropped by a whopping 19%, the lowest it's been in 11 years. So it's dropping worse than crypto, everyone. (laughs) It's dropping worse than crypto. Since then, it has recovered slightly, closing at 10.2% lower in the Hong Kong markets on Monday. Jonas Lilf a digital asset broker at Global Block, told Forbes that he believes that cryptocurrency sell-off 
was because panicked digital coin holders feared that the collapse of Evergrande would affect broader markets. Well, here's the question. Would you think, would you think crypto is more sensitive to fear than other markets? Do you think it's more sensitive to it with the, with the amount of retail that's in there? I don't know the answer to that. It would be definitely something worth looking into. It would be interesting. I, I wonder. I wouldn't be surprised. The massive price crash on September 7 came as El Salvador became the first country to introduce Bitcoin as legal tender. And here's the thing. For using it in your business, in your day-to-day, if you get such fluctuations in the value of your currency, they're going to have to start, or legal tender, they're going to have to start te- pegging your taxes to, to in Bitcoin there rather than the you know, other, rather than the USD. Because if the, the legal tender is, fluctuates so much to the USD, that, that's going to be a nightmare for businesses and people. That, that's the problem. Can you run a business if one day to the next your revenue is up at, or the money that you've gotten in yesterday is shifts by 10%? Although the country's radical move at first buoyed the market, it soon sent Bitcoin plummeting after the country had to pause digital wallets because of a glitch. Ethereum, Cardano, and Binance recorded even sharper falls than their Bitcoin counterparts. The three digital coins plunged between 13 and 18% earlier this month. So what's, well, what's the takeaway here and the solution or the lesson? Let's, let's have a talk. Well, everyone, here's the thing. There's going to be a lot of concern and worry and fear about Evergrande. That always happens. The media jumps onto it, and we see it. We're all worried and concerned. I've been watching some of the iron ore stocks and prices here in Australia. Just get hammered. Crypto is getting hammered. So does this mean cryptocurrency has matured? Has it matured as a platform, as, as an accepted investment asset? Sure, it's a bit crazy. Sure, you've got a whole lot of con artists and scammers involved in the space, but you have those in other places. It's just a convenient tool. But has it matured now that it's in lockstep with other markets? Is this, in some perverse way, a good sign for crypto? What do you think? And is it more more prone to these fearful shifts? But the other takeaway is, well, is crypto a safe haven from the movement of the markets, from you know the the Federal Reserve or for government intervention, if it moves so much, if it's just tied to everything else, has it lost its you know edge? We'll have to see, guys. What do you think? I mean, what's the solution? Is this now the time to buy? Remember, when others are fearful, is that the time to jump in? But how often have people done that and gotten wrecked? Would you buy in Evergrande? You tell me. I bloody well wouldn't. (laughs) We'll have to wait and see what happens. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan and enjoy the content that I create here, there's a few ways you can support us. You can join us on YouTube or Patreon. Sign up for Self Wealth or Stake. Use our affiliate links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, or Aussie Broadband. Take care, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.